What's up everybody, I'm the Mangoose, you are awesome, and Overprime has released a one-lane ARAM map to play on. Not only that, but they are also allowing new account creation for the next two weeks. Today is February 11th, by the way, so if you're watching this two weeks from now, sucks to be you. That's why you should turn notifications on. Try and snag yourself a used account on the Discord if you missed out. The download for this game is free, you can get it on their website, overprime.net. They have three different options to download the game. The one that worked for me was Google Docs. Once you have it downloaded, you can run the patcher to auto-update the game. However, that took me a solid nine hours. I'm sure you can find a better way on their Discord, but that shit worked for me in the end, so that's what I'm suggesting, just the Google Docs one. I'm going to show you that solo lane map today, but I'm not playing against anyone. Servers are up, and you can find a game on this or one of their other two maps. But I just wanted to show you guys around the new hotness without someone killing the shit out of me while I try and sightsee. As you can see, Revenant is in the game. His abilities work just like they used to. He still has the reload mechanic with his final shot dealing the extra damage. His animations were much smoother than Overprime heroes I've played in the past, and his bullets actually come out of his gun instead of firing from the camera behind him. The map itself looks really good. It is a single lane ARAM map. There are no jungle minions on the side, but we do have some shadow wells. Remember the shadow wells? Minions spawn and clash in the middle and you have two towers leading to a core. The towers will attack you, however the core will not. Once you get the towers down, you can go just all in on the core without worrying about it killing you. You start out with nine card points to spend and enough levels to unlock three abilities. Once you're in though, you're in. You can return to base to spend card points, however, you do not heal or regen mana in base. The only way to heal up or regen is via potions or this buff area on the side. Or, or dying. You can also die. The, the little buff area only becomes active after 5 minutes, and then standing on it for 5 seconds will top you off, and then the buff pad goes back on cooldown. It's been a bit since I messed around at Overprime, and Revenant felt much, much better than the heroes I played in the game before. I didn't expect this. I thought he would be like rushed in with wonky animations, but they did a good job with him. I did want to play some of the heroes that I played in the past that I knew had problems, so I went in with Murdoch. His shots used to come from the camera, and his strafe animation was very like slidey and unnatural. That all seems to be fixed now. Bullets come from his gun like they should, and his feet actually touch the ground when he runs sideways. He does lean over like crazy, but he felt and looked way better than he did in the past. Also loaded up the Fae, mainly because I just, I love the Fae. Like, more than a friend. She also felt good to play, but I really didn't have any problems with her in the past. I did notice that her targeting reticles for AoE attacks were much easier to manipulate than they used to be, so I assume they did something there to fix that? I'm not real sure. Maybe I'm just misremembering. All in all, Soul Leave continues to impress me with the direction they're taking Overprime in. They had a rough go of it at the start, but uh, like, I know I shit on them a lot. But if you shit on a sick tree long enough, that tree will grow strong and healthy. That's that's what Overprime has done. They've grown from the shit I laid upon them. Uh, they've either caught up or passed the other projects, in my opinion. Steam is still the biggest thing holding them back, though. Having to jump through hoops to play the game kind of sucks, even if the game is free. I know they plan to bring Overprime to Steam, and we should be hearing when pretty soon, but as of this date, I don't know the time frame. The sooner the better. Anyway, I'm going to wrap this up. I'm still working on the complete Paragon 2 history, but it's been slow going due to real life work and my commitment to enter the ether, so... I also, I forgot about a lot of the shit that happened, to be honest. There's a lot that goes into this. But be on the lookout for the Steam announced for Overprime, but for now, this is the Mangu signing off. You guys... Have a good one. Man, goo.